Do you know of a father? Do you know of a father? Do you know of a father through the Son? And to walk in the Spirit is salvation. To live by the Word. To live by the Word. To live Moses, the prophet. Do you know Moses was a prophet? Yes. He's a great prophet. Yes, yeah. He was a great prophet. He, he said, the Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among you, from your countrymen. You shall listen to him. He's talking about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Moses was prophesying of Jesus. So when Moses left the camp in the wilderness, they went up the mountain to meet with the Lord, the people of God, who had just been delivered from Egypt by God's mighty hand, decided to make their own religion. Right. Exodus 32, verse 1. I'm going to read that to you, right? Now, when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down from the mountain, the people assembled about Aaron and said to him, Come, make us a God who will go before us. As for this Moses, the man who brought us up from the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. Exodus 32, 1, right? And then came the golden calf. Just like the golden calves that they would make in the time of, you know, right, up in Bethel and Gilgal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were making golden calves up there? Yeah, absolutely. I didn't, I didn't know how yes. far that's, off that's their religion they, ended that's up. That's why they said, make yes. us a golden calf. Yes, they so had their, So their religion wasn't just a little bit off. It was a, no, no, a no, lot okay. off. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's like if you're standing on the face of a sheer cliff with a 10,000 foot drop, all right? It doesn't matter whether you take a running jump or take one step. Yes. You are either with him or, or against him. Amen. That's what Jesus said. You're for me or you're against me. All right? This is Ecclesiastes 1, verse 9. That which has been is that which will be. And that which has been done is that which will be done. So there is nothing new under the sun. False religions today are the same as false religions that started in the garden. There in the wilderness, they made an altar. They offered burnt offerings. They brought peace offerings. They sang religious songs. They had and, their festivals. And yeah. God, his anger burned against them. Go read Exodus 32. Here's the point, And please, please hear what I say. When the people of God got disconnected from the word, they created a false religion. Today, when the people of God get disconnected from the Word, they will create a false religion. One that will have to choose their own way rather than the way. The false, the false way will be directed by the serpent of old, who has always desired to replace God and the plan of God, just as Isaiah, the contemporary of Amos, said in Isaiah 14, he said, Oh, this is God, how you have fallen from heaven, O star of the morning, son of the dawn. Speaking of Satan, mm -hmm. you have been cut down to the earth, you, have, you who have weakened the nations. But you said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven. I will raise my throne above the stars of God. And I will sit on the Mount of Assembly in the recesses of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will make myself like the most high. God says, nevertheless, you'll be thrust down the shore to the recesses of the pit. There's a difference between faith and positive thinking and positive confession. There is power in God's word. You can confess your own word all the way. If it doesn't line up with God's word, brother, I'm going to tell you something. Discount the throw it away. False religions with the pretense of following Christ, the word who made, was made flesh and dwelt among us, they are cults. They're cults. And it doesn't have to be what you think of as somebody banging a tambourine on a street corner. I mean, you can be doing all the religious stuff. But if you are not receiving your salvation through the atoning work of Jesus Christ, you are involved in a cult. Salvation is the free gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Okay? You cannot. God does not desire to try, for you to try to earn your own salvation. The cost that he paid was far too high. Amen.
False religions with the pretense that are the cults will always have their roots in doctrines and traditions of men. As Jesus said, as he called forth the words of Isaiah, when he was speaking to the Pharisees and the scribes, in the, in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 7, verses 6 and 9, he said to them, Rightly did Isaiah prophesy of you hypocrites, as it is written, This people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far away from me. But in vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the precepts of men. Neglecting the commandment of God, you hold to the tradition of men. He was saying also to them, you nicely set aside the commandment of God in order to keep your tradition. Let me say that the danger of Bethel, of Gilgal, and every other place that manifests false religion as that people will place their trust and their hope in that religion with its relics and rituals rather than in their relationship with the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and his son, the promised Messiah of Israel. You start to place your trust in your works. It can, remember, the first revelation of the serpent was that he was more crafty, more, sur- more subtle than any other beast of the field. You can't do anything to make yourself right with God. You you can do things that make you wrong with God, but all you have to do is accept His atoning work, His His, his work with Son Jesus. Because it is religion versus relationship that always leads to the rejection of God. Oh, 